Hello there everybody, welcome back to a quick exploration of the new GUI system in Unity, introduced in Unity 4.6, and going to be here for the foreseeable future. Uh, so just going to kind of touch on some of the stuff we did in the chapter and add a little bit of knowledge as far as the anchor points. I uh, didn't really look too closely at them. So let's begin. I've got a new scene here. I'm just going to throw out a game object, UI, and I'm just going to throw out a canvas. And this is our main uh, UI thing that we put everything on. Now we've got some options here. We've got our overlay, which will basically overlay our game screen. Let's put our game screen over here. Notice that as I move my game screen, change the resolution of my game screen, notice my canvas changes as well. So the canvas scales to our screen, right? Pretty nice. And that's because it is currently set to a screen space overlay. So we'll overlay our whole screen space, whatever size that is. We can change this to a screen space camera, in which case I give it a camera and it overlays on that camera. Uh, very useful for some custom UI, mini map, things like that. And we can also do a world space, which will then allow me to put it in some place in the, the, the uh, world and it just stays there. So notice as I resize here, it doesn't change the size of my canvas. Uh, where uh, World Space Camera, it's changing as well. So with uh, both the screen space, we are use it, it will change as our screen resolution changes. Another thing to notice is this canvas scaler right here. By default, it's on a constant pixel size. I'm going to leave it there for now. But usually, uh, especially if you're dealing with a fonts or, or that kind of stuff in your UI, you're going to want to change this to a scale with screen size and I'll show you that here in just a second. So let's go ahead, go to our canvas, I'm going to right click on it and do a UI. I'm going to start by adding a text component. So there's my new text. Uh, Arial's fine for what we're going to do here. So I'm going to say this is my new text, like so. And I've got my text laid out there and if we play this and we resize this. Notice what my text is doing there. Notice, for instance, it's not really moving too much. Let me kind of snap that whole thing out of there. I mean, it is moving too much, but it's not necessarily it's staying. <coughs> Sorry about that. I mean, it's staying here in the middle, but our text itself it is kind of scaling as well a little bit. Uh, so as I get smaller here, you know, it's not in the center so well there. Uh, my text, my font size isn't really changing though. So if I were to go back to my canvas, and I'll just do this while we're running. I'll just go to my canvas. And let's say we change canvas from constant pixel size to a scale with screen size. And I'll, I'll say 800 by 600, but you can put any reference resolution you want in there. And then when I'm over here inside my text, if I do a best fit now, notice how it is scaling my font size to stay the same relative size with whatever my screen is. So as my screen becomes smaller, you know, my font does as well. So why did it say so, stay so large here? Because of this, the, the uh, best fit is really governed on the text box that it has to fit in inside there. And if it's able to fit at whatever size it is, then it will stay there. Now, as I was shrinking this up and down, I'm not actually really changing the, the vertical scaling, vertical size of my text box. Whereas if I go left, right, you can see how my text box there got a whole lot smaller, and that impacted my text size down there as well. Okay, so let's... Uh, change that around a little bit. Let's add something else to this. Let's go, I'm going to add a, let's add a UI and I'm going to add an image and just, oops, I can't move it there. Just come over here and I'm going to grab my image and let's throw the image up over here. Now, this little star pattern or flower pattern right here, that is the anchor point for this image. And what that means is that as my screen size changes, my image, this object, tries to stay at the same relative distance from its anchor point. So if I were to scale this, 
see how this stayed relative to that anchor point. Even though there was a whole new gap introduced here, it was interested in staying relative to that anchor point. So if we pull this down a little bit, pull this down, notice now we are leaving our canvas because our image isn't actually changing its size. It, it's, it, it's not scaling smaller to stay with our, our canvas as our canvas is getting smaller. If we go back to our canvas, we've got this scale with screen size. If we go to constant pixel size, notice that the, the um, image jumped over there to the left. And once again, this is having to deal with our our distance from right here and in this situation that distance is this original distance whatever it was and it tries to maintain that more consistently whereas on the the uh, scale with screen size it tries to scale everything with the size of our system so if I keep going smaller 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 and then there it got to a point where it actually snapped this in there. So when we have these odd kind of resolutions, it doesn't really know what to do with the box up there as far as should I resize it? Where should that, that thing go? Uh, so it does the best that it can. Now, if I wanted this box right here to actually stay relative to the top left corner instead of relative to the middle, you know, like if we were to take image and I wanted it to stay this distance from the top left corner as opposed to that distance from the middle, go over here to our transform right here, I'm sorry, to our anchor points, and let's just change it to a top left corner. And while I'm here, let me point out that this rect transform is essentially the transform component that we're used to dealing with in our other game objects. Uh, so our position X, position Y, and position Z are going to be its position uh, within the game world. Uh, well, in this within the game world, and you can almost think of width and height as being like the um, the scaling. You can you can almost think of them that way. Uh, that's that's not quite right, but yeah, for all intents and purposes, that makes it a little bit easy to to view it that way. So now that we've got our little image set to go to the top left corner, notice it's trying to keep this distance right here the same. So as I make it bigger, see it's, it's worried about that distance right there. And there it went like so. Okay, so let's, um, let's try. We have a preserve aspect. So if I were to come over here and just kind of hover my mouse over there, let's see if it's going to pop up with tooltip. Nope. Okay, so if I check pres preserve aspect, all it's doing here is just trying to maintain our aspect ratio based upon this native size or based upon the size of the image. It's just trying to maintain this aspect ratio. So that's one of those useful to turn on if you don't want your uh, image to be stretched or skewed or anything weird like that. You want it to maintain a relative sizing of itself. Okay, so that is the basic canvas system our anchor points you can really see how they can be beneficial uh, as well as our our scaling here with our canvas system we can go back to a constant pixel size or even a constant physical size whichever one uh, for ui components for main menu hud kind of stuff i find for most hud stuff i find the scale with screen size to be the best uh, there are some situations where a constant size works very, very nicely as well when you want something to be the same size regardless of everything else. So that, that, that can be really beneficial too. Uh, but generally speaking, scale with screen size is the way to go. When you do that to get our text to, uh, to resize correctly, make sure we've got our best fit turned on. And our best fit ends up ignoring our font size up here. So you know, I can make my font size bigger. And it's kind of like, yeah, whatever. You know, it kind of does its own thing because it's going to do whatever it takes to make it fit best within the area that I've given it. And with our image that, that we threw out there, you really saw our anchor points. Difference between having it anchored at lock, top left corner versus having it anchored in the middle as far as how it positioned itself. 
Now a couple of ideas just to kind of wrap this up is if I have several components up here in the top left corner it would make sense to have all of them anchored to the top left corner. Uh, we do need to watch out for things overlapping each other as we start changing sizes. So many times it's nice to have everything anchored to like the same point or we could actually have a panel. We could add a panel, a UI panel, where are you, panel, right here. And then we can put things inside our panel so that they are anchored to the panel, in this case to the center of the panel. And as the panel changes its size, then it's just this stays relative to the panel. So there's a couple of ways to, to look at how you lay out your user interfaces. But this is this UI design is something that you really have to be aware of uh, early on in the project as far as screen resolutions and changing of resolutions. Uh, for instance, it's not overly conceivable that a game I'm making for PC, for instance, uh, for instance, this Sancho Panza game, uh, I would not necessarily expect to, to it to work on a mobile device. As it turns out, this one will, but you, know, you wouldn't really necessarily think with a lot of, of user interface design, you've got to really be aware of the real estate that you've got on whatever device it is, your target platform that you're going for. Okay, so a quick overview there. Um, hopefully it added a couple things to what we discussed in the chapter. Uh, any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments down below, and I will get to them just as soon as I can. Bye-bye.